It's a killer day. The sun just came up and I'm heading back to the dock. Watch this video. Some crazy coconut. Is that a fish coming up to my gear or running away from it? Oh! oh. <laughs> Look at this! It just came on clip. So warm. Water temp is 71 degrees. Yep, 71. Fish are just crazy. Crazy, 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 crazy
huge. That's a big one. Big piece. This one is. Oh my goodness! Oh. This one is 16 and a half. 16 and a half. Check this out right here. When I ordered this boat, I wanted these these downrigger mounts mounted about a foot forward and I'll show you why because when you lay your your thighs up against I wanted to reach out and grab the the, the clip like this the downriggers would have been right there miscommunication not blaming the dealership nothing but they, it didn't end up happening make sure you have a body's width when you mount downriggers have a body's width between the back and the back of the downrigger so see what I mean right now be nice if you could just put your body but now I gotta torque and go like that little things little things make your day a lot easier check out this one you'll you'll see it better over here see how down the edge of this should be right here that way I can just clearly reach out now it's kind of a it doesn't seem like a big deal until you do it a lot but it is it's annoying. So maybe Hughescraft. If anybody's watching at Hughescraft, mount your downriggers, whatever these things are called. Mount them a little bit farther forward. I know it's easier to tangle in your kicker on the offshore bracket, blah, 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 but, but tell people to get a prop team. Oh, look at that takedown. Look at that. That is just crazy. You're almost pulling the clip every time. Yep, he's still there. That just changed. Just changed a little something. Moved it. Moved the downrigger like two feet. What is a spunky one? This hook weird. Spinner just keeps getting <laughs> keeps getting killed this setup. So explain this, anybody watching. I'm getting hit 35 to 37 feet deep right now. Explain this. Why? Why don't you turn around? Why can I come back out here at noon or two o'clock and they're at 18 feet? How weird is that? That's pretty weird, isn't it? There's some fish down there, but they, you, you cannot get them at 37. I'm gonna go over a few things, a few questions that I get all the time. This right here, that's called a Scotty gearhead. It just twists, that pops out. What's neat about Fulby and Scotty is the gears are the same right here. The gear that goes into this gearhead is not the same though. So you gotta buy this, when you get the Scotty gearhead, it comes with that. This is a Fulby or Scotty extension you can use. These are Fulby Juniors. Yes, there's a learning curve to these. Sometimes you gotta put some, um, say like avocado oil or something in them to get them to, to work smoother. These are Scotty 1106 downriggers. I'm filming with a GoPro 11 black. If you're getting Fulbies, always get a locking base. You gotta get a locking base because when you release these, you pick up. There's Dave Vetter over there. How goes it, Dave? How goes it? Good. How good? Very good. Um, on the back is a Reactor 40. I like the Minkota a lot more. Uh, this is the 
fish kokanee downrigger rods. This is the eight footer. This is the nine footer, the fish kokanee dropper rod. They're both awesome. And to tell you the truth, <clears throat> so here's the story. When I was testing these rods out, I was, I was actually not going to sell the nine footer because they are very similar. One's a nine foot, one's an eight foot. You tell me the difference if you buy them. But I ended up doing a pre-sale and everybody wanted the nine footer. So the nine footer and the eight footer are still going. They both work great in both as a dropper and downrigger. Look at these grips. Tapered carbon with with grip going each way. But foam, just beautiful butt. Get bit right now. We've got a little dry streak. What else am I missing? That have people ask me questions about. Uh, <clears throat> what I hold my GoPros on are snap mounts. That's where you always see me. You go boom, and they stick right on there. They're magnets, and I have a magnet on my GoPro. Dink. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> goodness that is funny that is too funny here fishy 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 here fishy 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 here fishy can you believe these coconut are unclipping I'm putting this the line as deep as I can go on the Scotty and about half of them are releasing the clip. Going slow, too. So he had all the power, he's hooked in the gill plate. I always hold them upside down for some reason. Why is that? Check this out. I'll show you the reason I'm always like taking my time picking up my corn. So I'm looking for, looking for the little shriveled ends. I'm hooking the shriveled end, which is normally the top of the corn. This is probably the smallest one at 
14. Here is the biggest one. You seen it? Here's the biggest one at 16 and a half pushing 17. Here's the best part about them. Look how thick they are. They got shoulders. It's important on a day like this when the water's warm, get them cooling. 